Hello, and welcome to my next executive series video. Our topic today is buildings. Aaron Snyder here from Quality Systems Explained, where we make quality systems simple for you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. If this is the first executive series video you've seen, please go back and check out the introduction. Check out the video description below for links to any supporting information and a summary of the material that we will cover today. In each executive series video, we have a standard agenda, which consists of four items. You can see those in the progress bar below. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to get those three bonus questions. Our requirement today, buildings, comes directly from 820.70F and 1345 sections 6.3 and 7.5.1. Buildings in five words. Buildings must support proper manufacturing. Your buildings have to be suitable to support your manufacturing process. This means you have to have enough space to prevent mix-ups, ensure orderly handling, and support all necessary operations. When you think of buildings, what's really important about your manufacturing process is that it flows in one direction. It doesn't double back on itself, and you don't have manufacturing lines that are crossing. When you think of preventing mix-ups, your product all has to be clearly identified and segregated, and you need space to make sure that your product is appropriately segregated. If your product travels outside of your building from one building to the next, then you must protect that product as it moves from one building to the other. You should have adequate controls and procedures in place to protect the product. So how do I know this is working? Well, my buildings are suitable to support adequate manufacturing, storage, handling, and distribution. Everything's properly identified, everything's properly segregated. How do I know it's not working? First, I've had recalls or near misses for mixed product. Second, my manufacturing lines are so close together that product from one line could get mixed up with product from the other. And then finally, the actual flow of my product through my facility has crossing patterns or processes double back on themselves, leading to error, potential errors and mix-ups in product. And now for those three bonus questions. Have we had any recalls in the past for mixed product? Second, how do we ensure a product of similar appearance or design are actually segregated and stored apart from each other to prevent mix-ups? And third, in the past, have we outgrown our space? And if that happened, how did we address it? Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. If you have any questions, please send me an email at qms.jedi at gmail.com. This is Aaron Snyder from Quality Systems Explained. Never stop learning.